Hey guys, Jan from Improvementor here, the blog that is here to help you stay motivated and achieve your goals. And today I want to be speaking about this guy. Where did it come from? How did it get created? What's its story? And who is Phil Knight? That is what this book is about. So, let's jump into the review. So, Shoe Dog by Phil Knight begins when Phil is 24 years old. Phil, being 24 years old, has already experienced army. He had already had a degree in business and he had known that he likes track running. Phil was supposed to feel like a man already. He was supposed to feel that he already has everything that, that is needed. But he lacked a few things. And there are two main ones. The first one is he lacked social experience. The second one is that he had an idea, a business idea. During his university years, he had a, a job that he had to hand in. He called it Ku Japanese shoes, due to German shoes, the same thing that Japanese cameras did to German cameras. The idea was to take shoes from Japan and be a distributor of those in the US, therefore overthrowing the German shoe companies that currently dominated the market, in, as the example of Adidas. Just as the Japanese cameras came in and replaced the German cameras. So he wanted to travel the world, to socialize with people and get to know himself a bit better. And along his trip, go to Japan and in Japan pitch his idea to those Japanese business owners and hope that those guys will be satisfied with his idea and will like it. So he goes to his father, asks for a bit of money to fulfill his idea, fulfill his dreams. And his father indeed agrees because he feels that he himself left this kind of trip and he would like his son to do it. So Phil quickly goes and finds a friend with whom he would like to, to make this trip. They begin the trip, the friend meets a nice girl and Phil has to, to continue alone. So he continues alone to the Japanese fur. So in the plane on his way, Phil is very excited. But it's not just a fact that his idea and dreams depend on that meeting. It's also the fact that there is a very high tension between Japan and America at that time. Those times are pretty close to the ending of the World War II and the drop of the two nuclear bombs Hiroshima and Nagasaki by the US on the Japanese. The war was everywhere in Japan and coming there as an American wouldn't be an easy experience and especially doing business with those Japanese people. So Phil proceeds to meeting those people. After seeing all those scenes and ruins in some of the cities, even though it's been 15 years after the war, there are still ruins left. There was a lot of destruction left by those nuclear bombs. So he continues to this meeting and pitches his idea. 
with the hope that something might click. And indeed, something does click. As he pitches his idea, all the Japanese men stand up and leave the room. And he has no idea what to do with himself. They come back after a few minutes, telling him that they would like him to be a distributor for the Japanese. And that is how Blue Ribbon is formed. So Phil goes back home with very high excitement. And that is where the business adventure begins. Phil asks his father for an initial investment of $50, which he promised to the Japanese in return for the few pair of, sh pair of shoes that they're going to send him. His father agrees to lend him this money. And so Phil goes and starts distributing the shoe. He starts running on track races and after him being successful, he succeeds on selling those shoes to other people who are very excited by his results. There are many, many things in the book, many moments in which you, you believe that Phil is not going to succeed. You believe that the company is going to fall apart. He's being sued a few times. There is betrayal in the story and relentless effort and job ethic, as you would have expected. There are many ups and downs many, many sales, the development of the company, reaching, reaching different places in the US, moving their factories, and having many, many difficulties. Eventually, all that ends up in the company Nike. I would like to elaborate more but I wouldn't want to, to make too many spoilers for you guys. I would just say that the book really, really got me excited. There's not a lot more honorful than a person who works day and night for 10, 20 or more years for a certain goal, for a certain idea, for a certain vision and making it come to life. As I read the book, I was really excited. It was hard for me to, to stop myself from listening to it. And in the end, I even shed a tear. That's how much exciting it was to see all the progress that Phil has been through, to see all the difficulties, to see all the setbacks and all the times in which he could have just simply gave up, in which most of us, normal average humans, would give up. I mean, hopefully you guys wouldn't, but a lot of humans would give up. And uh, through the story, I felt a bit related to him, because I understood that in order to achieve my dreams I would have to go through a very very long way I would have to work every day I would have to work towards my goals relentlessly as he did and never give up it may last years on years but eventually I will succeed if you wish to see one of, of the stories that prove an example that success can be achieved and not just minor success but great success you can see it in the story of Phil just know that really everything is possible 
I'm saying that because Phil was 24 years old when he started his ventures. I am 21 right now, but leave some space for me. It's not just those people who were super, super extraordinary when they were kids, as, as the example of Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. It's also those people who still didn't have a lot when they were 21, 22, 23, 24. It's, it's, also, it's also those people who can succeed. So guys, go check out this book. It's really, really amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I'm doing the book review. I'm saying that because I really felt connected to the guy. And the guy is going to stay with me along all my difficulties and challenges. For now, him and Goggins are there accompanying me when it's hard. And I'm really thankful to them for the things that they've done and the way that they've shown to me. I have a lot more to learn. Those two great people are just the beginning. But I'm full of appreciation to them and for the possibility that I have. The sky is the limit and that's not just a cliche. We could move mountains, we could create empires, we could create shoe empires. It could become Navy Seals. And Phil will show you how. But if you wish, you could also check David Goggins out. I'll be adding a link to his book review in the description below as well. And also to the blog posts. So thank you very much guys for watching my video. Uh, I'll be adding the links in the description below as well as a link for a free audiobook. Um, if you decide to get it through those links, don't forget to mail me the receipt and I'll be sending you a bonus right into your mailbox. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next videos and blog posts. Bye bye. Keep grinding.